All right, there we go. Oh, good evening, folks. As it turns out, it's a little bit difficult to get back into streaming, as I already forgot that uh, you actually have to hit start streaming in order for OBS to start streaming. That should be streaming 101, and yet I completely overlooked that. Anyway, hope you're all having a good evening tonight. I'm going to start some SD Gundam G Generation Cross Rays. Uh, and this is a fresh save file, and I think I will start from Gundam Wing. Yeah. Yay! Uh, yeah, I'll accept your stuff. Analytics, I don't care. I've got the DLC for this, so apparently we have access to all of these DLC at the moment. None of that's going to be particularly meaningful. I'm going to hopefully stay away from using some of the DLC units to start off with, because it does start you off with a couple of free and both of the good units. This being a SRPG and all. Anyway, let's make sure the controller's working, and it's not, so let's make a change real quick with that. Uh, controls. Not sure why it's not picking up that I have the controller. And as always, let me know if the sound is too loud. I'm gonna exit out real quick and exit enter back in and hope that uh, fixes the controller issue. I just plugged that in as well, so it just may not be recognizing it. I got the house to myself to the most of tonight, uh, so I figured I'd take the time to play some of this, or something in general, and I just feel like playing this. Later on tonight, I will be continuing our Arkham Horror Living Card Game, the Dunwich Legacy campaign with Tab the Summoner and Teldros, and also really looking forward to that. We're getting to the tail end of that campaign, so things are getting pretty exciting pretty fast. Uh, yeah, I need to change... Duh, PC settings, switch A and B, we need to turn that on. Or maybe we don't, I don't know. I don't know if we do or not. I... A and B, X and O, whatever it is on Nintendo, I think it's A and B, but in reverse. I have no concept for them anymore, switching between all these controllers. And I feel like for every different game, I have to readjust my mindset and get used to those. Especially for confirm and cancel. So we get a few free units off the bat that I'm not going to be, or not intending to use. The Destiny Gundam Heine Westenfluss. Not familiar with that one. Uh, the Sisqueed A colors. Cool. The Gundam of Stray Gold Frame Amaterasu, actually, which is pretty pretty good for a starting unit last time I tried it. Uh, and Lord of Stray Omega, which I think is a pretty neat unit. But, doing my best not to use any of these initially. We can create custom characters. If you are watching this and you'd like me to create a custom character based on you, let me know and I'm happy to do that. Uh, I'm just going to create a quick save here. This game is known to crash, so the fewer screens we have to go through to get back to where we are at, the better. But the game also does basically save after every round. Story mode, select the series and start stage strategy. You can change the series at any time, so just pick one for now. Uh, this game, Cross Rays, has, I want to say, five different uh, alternate universe Gundam stories and side stories involved. Uh, you've got Wing, 
What are you doing here? I didn't okay this. Uh, you got Gundam Wing, it's side story G unit, uh, and of course, uh, Endless Waltz. Uh, Seed, Seed Astray, Seed X Astray, Seed Destiny, uh, and Stargazer. So Seed gets a lot of representation here. And I'm particularly looking forward to Stargazer because uh, Gun Stargazer Gundam is one of my favorites. Then you've got the Double O, Double O F, and the Double O Movie. And lastly, uh, also what I'm looking forward to, IBO and uh, Iron Blood North and Skako. And then some various expansion stages. My intent is to basically go through them from uh, left to right on the screen, starting with Gundam Wing, going through the side stories, on to Seed and so on. So let's go ahead and just uh, kind of show you what that looks like. We can see how many stages are in the game as we go through here. Uh, so we can also see what, what, what type of terrain is involved and different uh, Gundams and pilots will have different abilities and different terrains. So there, there's a fair few amount of stages here, mostly separated between different uh, universes. It ought to be enough, and I know that uh, as you up the difficulty in this game, it does get fairly difficult. But we're gonna jump in on Gundam Wing, the shooting star she saw. Uh, and because I'm rather new to this game in particular, we're gonna start on uh, normal. Open my drink here real quick as it sprays all over me. I will be feeding my cats at about 8 o'clock Eastern Time, which is roughly 20 minutes to a half hour from now. Uh, so it'll be about a five minute break. After Colony, so the heart, she don't go to any semi has a meta today. For better or worse, this is voiced. Unfortunately, there's no English option, so. I'm not going to read these lines after they're spoken, but I will make sure that there's enough time to read them. しかし紛争解決を明目に放出したそして、アフターコロニー1945年4月7日、連合に反目する一部のコロニー居住者たちはついとある作戦の実行へと踏み切った。うう、スプーキー。作戦名、オペレーションメテオ。And these storylines do follow the media that they're from, whether that's like Gundam Wing in anime, or like J-Units and manga, or a novel series, I believe. Um, you're not limited to using the suits from that series in those missions, though. There's kind of a metaverse-style thing happening here, but... この作戦はすでに連合本部に察知されていたコロニーの平和を託された運命の矢は今地上へと降り注ぐその奇跡を目撃する少女の運命と共に We've got uh, some pretty cheap unvoiced cutscenes here. Colonel Zex, our, our satellite has confirmed the unidentified flying objects to be meteorites. <laughs> How can a satellite see so much yet so little? So many meteorites on a wave course directly into Earth's atmosphere? And a perfect match to the intel from Oz headquarters. 
This is clearly the work of the colony's Operation M. How many can our transport catch? Just one, sir. Just one is enough. A frontline soldier doesn't clamor for glory. You don't mince your words, do you, sir? I have said it before. I am a soldier, first and foremost. What's the matter, Elena? Is it so bad going back to Earth? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Excuse me. Forgive me, I've been so busy with work. I should have spent more time with you. Father, I think you could stand to relax a bit next time we're in space. You're right. Relative velocity to target. Yeah, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. Auto lock on. Anything in my way will be shot down. Father, what's that? The re-entry shuttle? No, I can't believe it. It's Operation Meteor. What? Colonel Zex, sir, we've caught up to it. Just as I thought, this is an egg of war from which our future conflicts will hatch. It'll have to slow down in front of that civilian's shuttle. But couldn't it shoot down the shuttle and accelerate? Too risky. Too conspicuous with us right here. Its mission must remain a secret, after all. Did the Alliance pick me up? Of course they did. Our target. It's accelerating, sir. It's in our line of fire. Perhaps the pilot has a death wish? Or they're going to use the element of surprise and escape. No, I don't believe so. It seems the enemy is working with some impressive technology. An Oz offensive transport. No way it could catch up. A change to the mission? New orders, understood. I'll take down the transport immediately. Colonel, what is that? So their new weapon is a fighter jet. I thought they were just delivering it. I think they'd actually send a pilot inside. We can attack it. Machine guns should scare it off. No, this foe won't be frightened by such a thing. Is the Leo ready? A mobile suit against a jet? Indeed. But the Leo is meant for ground combat, sir. The high-speed Ares would be more suited for this, wouldn't it? My Leo is more than up to the task. Besides, it wouldn't do to refuse the challenge. Roger that. I'll use the Ares to hold it off until the Leo is ready, sir. Very well. Oh, look at the little fat things. We can take care of it, Colonel. All Ares will make short work of it. Oz mobile suits sighted. Moving to destroy them. Fortunately, uh, I can skip all that story bit later on if I need to. The victory is to destroy all enemy units, and if I destroy two Ares, at least two Ares in the same turn, then we get a bonus. Uh, stage start, starting stage strategy. Control your own units and attack the enemy units. After completing your own units' actions, press A in a position with no units to access the system command and select pass to end your turn and proceed to the enemy's turn. Take note that... Defeated units do not revive. Uh, so basically I want to see if I can destroy these two units in the same turn. And all I've got to do it is... The Wing Gundam in bird mode. With a Buster Rifle. So 
actually, let's see. Can I check the enemy's attack range? I can check them out, but... Oh, they got a range of four. And movement of six. Uh, view area information is B. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, they can move six forward, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four. So, I can't even get into their attack range right now. And then I have to go to pass. It's a little bit of a cumbersome um, system. The UI isn't super great, but if the game plays there, then it's well fine by me. Uh, I lied, they can attack me. Uh, so we can counter to attack after the, en after the enemy attacks, defend to reduce damage taken, and prevent morale drop, or evade to reduce the chance of the enemy's attack hitting. They have a default chance of 46 to hit me, but um, I'm going to evade them to see if I can make sure to get the uh, two Ares kills in one turn. Poor fools. And we can also skip these unit cutscenes, which might get tiring after a bit, but initially at least it's cool to see them. They put a decent amount of effort into them. Definitely not uh, super premium, but they're a good start. There's a little bit of. <clears throat> Use me. They're not the smoothest as, uh, as they could be. Alright, so I'm supposed to destroy two in one turn. Not quite sure how I'm going to do that with just the Buster Rifle. Both of my attack range. I will definitely hit for 4300. World's longest explosion. <laughs> and a vaguely psychotic pilot. Ah, oh, the Get Gauge. The Get Gauge is filled when guest forces with Get Gauge destroy enemy units in a stage where your own forces are playing. Fill the gauge to its maximum to register units to the production list. Uh, you can get units in the current series faster, so rely on your guest horses more often. Basically, if you are playing with a unit that you don't own and is given to you by the game in a stage, if you use it to kill enemy forces, you will eventually uh, obtain it for yourself for reproduction, and you don't just get one off, you can make it with in game money. Hmm. And this is how I kill two in one turn. Chance step. Destroying an enemy unit gives your unit a chance step, which allows it to take another action. But you can only get up to two of them each turn. So we'll just attack a second time. And we're guaranteed to hit and kill it. personal inclination is to play through the same stage over and over until I get all guest, all guest units in a stage, but I won't do that on stream, I don't think. It's not exactly fun to watch. 
as much fun as watching this movie. Or not. He took up both Aries single-handedly? Very interesting. Looks like now we've got the Zex Leo to deal with. That's not bad. It transformed into a mobile suit? Besides Alliance and Oz, how could there be other people possessing the technology to make mobile suits? Moreover, that strength is... could it be? Oh, never mind. Oh, we got a little pilot with a parachute. Got him. Colonel Zex, are you okay? Uh, apologies for worrying you. I thought I might be able to help. I've analyzed the combat data. That sort of strength from the enemy suit could only mean one thing. It's made from Gundanium alloy. I see. So we have ourselves a Gundam. The suit may be undamaged, but such recklessness surely cost the pilot his life. Let them know our quarry went down near the JAP point. Yes, Colonel. I'll collect it, sir. Thank you. So good to see you, Mr. Darlian. We've readied one of the military's vehicles for you. We've readied one of the military's vehicle for you. Time is of the essence. Right now? That won't do. I've got to get ready for my daughter's birthday. We've readied a vehicle for your daughter as well. No. There's no need to worry about me. I can find my own way. Relena. Shall we be going? General Septim is waiting for you. Uh, yes. Three mobile suits were lost? Yes, sir. It's unlike you to be so careless. It won't be easy to keep the Alliance off our backs. The suit we faced was made of Gundanium. Come again? If this kind of weapon was built by the colonies, this entire mess could have been avoided if only you and I had been in Oz 15 years ago. So, it was indeed a Gundam? It's the only thing that makes sense. The Alliance has coddled the colonies. The Marina is attempting to recover the machine. Allow me to take care of that. I don't think I need to say we're at critical point. It wouldn't do to poke the Alliance bear. Yes, sir. I understand. Awaiting your orders. Bleh. Awaiting your orders, Colonel. No need to get yourself worked up. It won't be going anywhere. But, sir. Let me show you something a bit more interesting. Oz Reconnaissance has been taking pictures. A striking resemblance to the machine we fought, don't you think? You, you're you not saying that there are two of them. No, that's not all I'm saying. The mobile suit factory seized by the Oz, the spaceports. The team sent to investigate the capsules that touched down. All devastated, just as we were. Which makes four? Five, if you include the one that went down. Five suits. Five Gundams. We should thank our lucky stars to have survived such a tussle with a Gundam. You know it's my birthday soon, don't you, Father? Any normal girl would have had a fit by now. Uh, I suppose it's fine. 
I'm not some child who doesn't understand how important his work is. I, I guess I should head home. Or not. <laughs> is that a person? A soldier. But he's a child. Just hold still. I'll call for help. Did you see? What? See what? <sighs> Wait! I'm, my name is Rolena Darlian. And you are? All the dialogue. We are all the dialogue. Excuse my tardiness, sir. General Treze, am I right in hearing that your subordinate lost three mobile suits during re-entry? You are, sir. Your point being? Three suits wasted and for what? Stop some rebel? As a result, we were able to put a stop to their plot. I think I'm talking about results. Where is it you think the true strength of the Alliance lies? The true strength? I suppose I should say the soldiers. Or with our mobile suits, perhaps. You, you dare mock me? Let's all settle down. This will not be our last engagement, General. I'd suggest you exercise caution. Yes, sir. <laughs> the Alliance has grown too accustomed to us. The future is ours to make. It lies with us. With Oz. Yeah, they they uh, were, were tempted to put all the story in, apparently. It's a new semester. But it's the day that keeps coming back to me. <laughs> it's it's him. The transfer student, Hiro Yui. Hiro. I am going to kill you. What? What what are you He has so many secrets. Secrets. Did I figure him out? And now he's going to kill me? What, what are you saying here? Who are you going to kill? He's gonna kill everybody. Hey, more gameplay. Looks like they've got a fair few money units. Commander, it's too dangerous to fly a blimp into this. Idiot. This is the best way to show the enemy in the specials that we mean business. We don't need help from them or anybody. This is just the excuse they need to stick their noses in. So, the commander is indisposed. My apologies, Colonel. I'd heard that he disliked me, but... Terribly sorry, sir. Never mind, it's not entirely unwarranted. Colonel Zex. Lieutenant Walker, spend some time. You haven't changed a bit, Colonel. Walker, you wouldn't happen to have a mobile suit for me? Funny you mentioned that. There's something you need to see. Something you want to show me? Is. They say it's the ancestor of all mobile suits, and it's a class above the Leo, size-wise. It's an antique, but when I saw your data from that Gundam, I remembered we had, we had it stored as a historical artifact. And you're from Corsica, aren't you? Station there, sir. This is the only unit with armor that held up against the data. I was never told what went into building it myself. But it had to be massive to get that kind of power. Too big, really. Word is that they downsized it when they standardized the current line of suits. The Honkmobile. I think that's what they called it. Honkmobile. And it would be a match for a Gundam when it's finished. No question, sir. 
Colonel, I'd like you to take this one from the factory. You expect him to die, Walker? Like you told me, sir, everything I do is for the soldiers who come after me. And you're a braver soldier than I. So, how many are we expecting? The maximum, sir. Just like you taught me. Four, then. One of them won't be coming here. That's all the intel I have. I'm sorry, Walker. I'll be glad if we can even get one, Colonel. Listen up, these specials think the battlefield's just some namby-pamby game. Aching to kill each other so badly will fire things up themselves. But we will not agitate. Stay calm and we'll avoid any unnecessary confrontation. We're going to show these bloodthirsty specials how to fight. Commander, we must stop this. One hit from the enemy in the blim. What enemy? Who'd be foolish enough to hit a patrol? Three kills! Commander, we're under attack! I'm not getting anything on the radar! Pedal down! It's only one unit! These damn little machines. Surround it and destroy it. Tactically speaking, the best option against small numbers is to cut off their retreat and bathe them in concentrated fire. In which case, the commander made the right choice in choosing to surround and destroy me. That said, they would have done better to gauge my strength before acting. Get wrecked. What is this? How could I have miscalculated so badly? Cover the commander's retreat. The rest of you attack the enemy. Fools. It's a strong one. Looks like we're not going to be making it out of here. Make sure the data team at the factory gets all the logs. For the soldiers of the future. Ugh. Sorry. No, not the Hindenburg. Right, bring it in. Focus on the fight. That's everything. Alright. Uh, so now I can sortie a uh, couple, two different groups of, uh, blah, blah, blah. words. Yep. Station a group at a sortie point in the map. Units without the necessary train capability cannot. A maximum of two groups can go out. And we start off with a couple basic groups. Um, I'll throw them out because they're given to us and uh, otherwise it might be a little bit challenging. And I'm not sure I'm quite ready for that. Plus, uh, it's fun to un use the units we've got. Du -du. So we get a Phoenix Zero, a Phoenix Gundam, a Phoenix Zero One, and a Tornado Gundam along with a carry base. My understanding is that these units are kind of unique to the... Well, not unique, but were introduced with the G-Genesis, uh, G-Generation series of games. So they are game original, and I'm okay with using them because the game expects you to have them. But eventually, I don't know if I will use them and swap them out for cooler or more desired units. Anyway, I'm going to take a second here to go feed my cats. I will be right back. And this is kind of where I wish I had a be right back screen.
I'm sitting here and I just turned my mic on and I'm not sure if I turned it off when I went away or if I haven't been recording sound for like the past half hour. Uh, if it's the latter one, that's kind of shit. And I apologize for that. But I also don't think there's anybody there to apologize to. Sorry, one moment, I left something in downstairs. have units to work with now, so that's pretty grand. Where are you? Where are you? Come on. My controller is wrapped up in... Here. Yeah, good enough. I am playing this with the controller. I find it a little easier. So we aim to destroy at least 10 enemy units, and we want to do it within three turns for the special bonus challenge. And who does not like special bonus challenges? We're going to try to aim for every single one we can get. I believe it results in more money. Money is what you use to get more Gundams, or mobile suits in general. Would zoom out at all? Not really. All right. We got a lot of units here. We got five over here, three, total of 13, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 units. So if we want to destroy 10 in three turns. We should focus on this group over here and this group over here since they're all kind of close together. Heavy Arms does not seem that it can move all that far. If I move him here, that should put him within range of the Leos up there. If I move him here, can I hit somebody? He's got good range on his guns, as one would expect. Uh, heavy arms, too. I could throw them right into the thick of things up here. But I think that's a little bit riskier. I'll finalize that. We're gonna kind of shoot the moon here. Uh, these guys are pretty much just gonna move straight forward. So we can do the move all command and move all after units move. The other units in the same group will follow it automatically and attack enemy units within range after moving. So the units. Oh, okay, so this uh, ray group is when you deploy a bunch of mobile suits without a ship attached to their, their unit. Uh, Ray Group recovers HP and energy at the start of each turn when units from the same group are adjacent to each other, so you want to stick them close together. Yellow squares and green squares are displayed here after yellow space and green space in area when units move, and that shows that they will recover there. Yellow spaces uh, give more energy recovery and lesser units adjacent to the surroundings enjoy more energy recovery. I'm not sure what lesser units means. That might be a poor translation. Uh, and green spaces indicate more HP recovery. When more spaces are adjacent to green spaces, the amount of HP recovery increases. So if you have two units contributing to a green space, then it'll give you more recovery. Uh, unit will enjoy recovery if it's docked onto an SFS uh, subflight system. Basically like a stand like a glider. However, do you note that a standalone unit without a subflight system does not enjoy recovery from the raid group. So it has to actually be in use. 
I don't have any of those at the moment, so it doesn't matter. These guys are all gonna move. I don't think any one of them has a range long enough to actually do anything with. Oh, I didn't realize it would move. I thought it would move them all straight forward, but we'll roll with it. And with the ship, we can throw out the onboard units. Again, not enough range. So we actually have an additional eight mobile suits to work with, and I think these are all pretty much Gundams. It's another two Tornado Gundams, uh, another Phoenix Zero, and another Phoenix Gundam. So that's going to be our turn. I didn't actually move the ship. We'll move it up a little bit. It's nice that it gives us a little heads up. Hey, you have not moved all your units. The enemy apparently does nothing. Great. And the secret conditions gives me how shows me how many overall turns I've got left to actually defeat enemies. I'm gonna start moving these guys individually. He can hit the enemies in the back. 84. They have 84.50. How much does this do? 4,200. But critical. Eh. Feather funnel does against another 82. All right, we're gonna go up the mega beam cannon and hope that this actually gets somebody here. There's almost definitely a better way to handle this. I am not certain. It's the gun tanks cousin. And we... Nope, we didn't quite miss. Though we are apparently within uh, countering range. We're only slightly less fragile than they are at this point in time. Seventy-seven percent chance to hit, or I will use a beam rifle for a better chance to hit, because we do want to actually take these guys out within a couple turns. We can swap out pilots and Gundams and do whatever combinations we want later on. We only got one in range. 77 chance they were 35 or 37. Uh, you've got 88 energy, so roughly doesn't make all that much of a difference. Let's go for a little bit more damage here. Cute little guns always look pretty cool. Oh, 
And it seems we're pretty well poised to take out about four Gunnerlings next turn here, which is one short of the five we need. Seventy-three chance to hit. Um, yeah, we'll make everybody a little bit weaker, as opposed to taking one out. Same attack. It's choosing to defend, so it's just going to reduce the damage, which is not great, but also not terrible. Nice if this ship could be in attack range. It is. We we'll want all we can get out of this. And we'll aim for. Uh, let's take one out. Let's take one unit out this turn over to the side. Then we get a little cut-ins of every crew member assigned to the ship, which is, which is nice. It's nice that they don't get wasted. Oh. And we completely and totally whipped. Not great. And he is completely out of range. Hundred percent chance to hit for pretty much everything. Uh let's go hatch open full mode. Hatch full open mode. He's just gonna fire everything at it. And because, at the very least, because he defended. We definitely couldn't take him out this turn. Just kind of banking on that. Next turn's gonna be a little bit iffy. We're gonna have to hope for some pretty good luck. I really like the Phoenix Gundam and the Tornado Gundam designs. will pass. So this will be our last turn chance to get that special condition complete. And I will need to kill, oh, you know, only 10 of them still. But fortunately, we can also start countering. Because they're actually attacking us now. Logan. He doesn't go down. Oh. So close to a good nice little murder there on the defense side.
And more countering. Link up attack is when two units are close enough that they get a bonus, I believe, is what that is. Hey, we got one! Nine to go. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean we can't get an extra movement next turn from it. I'd prefer to have them weaken than not. Alert. This amount of damage was taken into consideration. Uh, he's low on health is what that's saying. With a little bit of luck, this will hit and not kill. Or it will just straight up kill him. We're just fine too. And heavy arms turn. We especially need to. Maximize our chances of getting additional movements here, additional actions here. And his machine gun was barely weak enough to not kill us, as weird as that sounds to say. But we can go full on out against these guys. We're using up uh, heavy arms energy pretty quickly here, but I think it's pretty much the only uh, option we've got for making that special condition. Dead. That's fine. Koroska Korosareduka Tatakaito at Snake, so you want to.
Seven to go. And this one's completely and totally uninjured. Mega Beam Cannon gets me 77 chance to hit. I will take the higher percentage of 82. Rather than the chance of higher damage. I'd rather get some damage in than none at all. So the goal here is to get about 70 more, 70, 70 more, 7 more kills. And do I want the Phoenix Gundam to get the kill here, then move up here, and up here? But maybe I get the Tornado Gundam to do something like that. I only need to kill these four and three over here, so either way, I think we're looking alright. Alright, one of these guys is only gonna get one attack. He's somewhat injured. Decisions. I'm having analysis paralysis here. I should weaken this Tragos with somebody first. Alright, we're gonna move you up here. And you're going to attack with. You know, it's all about the same chance, so the Diffuse Fame Cannon will weaken this Tragos. Then hopefully we should be able to wrap them. those guys up. Let's pour out the four remaining up with two. I don't think pilots die, but you do permanently use lose units, so leveling them up uh, can be important, and you need to be careful about losing your strong mobile suits. Alright. I'd say we want to maximize our chances of hitting, but everything's 73. Just a simple Gatling gun. And we completely and totally whiff. Which is not great. Alright, well, 
let's try that again with Q. Alright. You need a little bit of space. Eighty-two with the beam rifle. Let's roll with that. Hey, we finally got him. Best out here to join us. Please, would you, would you join? She's very upset her favorite person is not home tonight. But she loves my girlfriend a little more than It's sad, I know. Such a good, nice kitty, though. He likes to watch Gundam with me, so it's all good. Alright, so we get a second shot with him. Move up here. Let's see if we can get another beam rifle kill on the Stragos. She's got full health, I'm not too worried about her taking any damage over the next couple turns. She should be able to hit the leftmost Tragos over there with something. Uh, and we actually, there's a stat system for each individual Gundam, and I'm not certain. Sorry, excuse me. Not certain how I want to distribute those stat points at this point in time. I think in this game you want to pick up, focus on uh, what, what's most useful for them as opposed to uh, kind of stacking a little bit of everything if they're good with energy attacks or physical attacks. And defense if they're good at taking a hit, mobility if they are evasive. Oops. Oh, and uh, each pilot levels up as well. They get different stats, and those stats are used for where you place them, whether they're in a, a mobile suit or part of the crew on a ship. You don't get to choose those, which is fine. They get different skills. Uh, and more all is raised when your attacks hit, if it drops when your attacks miss or the enemy attacks you. And if it drops too low, you cannot attack the counter. And if it rises above super high, you will always get critical hits. And certain attacks are limited by your morale level. So we're going to move you... Here? And no, you can't. You're out of energy. You can't use anything here. Alright, so... That's just not good. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the ship. And see if we can get an attack off of the ship. I don't actually want to kill both of them, though, but that does do that. Eh, I got it. Right, it's probably a single hit. Hey, Jamaica! Is that a Gundam? Um... 
is what a Gundam? The giant ship? No, it's just a transporter battleship. It carries Gundams inside of it that I have deployed on this map. It's akin to, say, the you know the white base, the Argama, the uh, Archangel. Yes, I am doing the Gundam Wing story. I am actually still in the first mission here. Uh, these missions uh, take a fairly decent amount of time to, to complete. I played a little bit through Iron Blooded Orphans on a different save some time ago, but this is my actual first time in the wing portion of this game. I've had some issues with installing it and getting it to run and was able to pick up till about four in the morning for me last night I was able to get it running again i had to delete my saves in order to make it work so that was a little bit fast but i wasn't so far into the matter and i thought that wing was a good would be a good place to start i have uh, a couple of friends who are more familiar with with um, Wing than anything else in this game. Started off with the seed story. Uh, regular seed or one of the, uh, the sub stories in the seed? And then how did you like it? Were you enjoying it? I know a lot of people, especially here in the West, are uh, fans and are familiar with seed. I was never a super huge fan of it, but I am would say in the same breath that Stargazer uh, being directly reliant on events from Seeds is one of my more favorite Gundam stories, I guess. Uh, we can use the Mega Beam Cannon. And it'd be nice if we could get two of them. Yeah, nobody else is going to hit with anything, so let's kind of Hope for a critical hit. Regular seed, it's a fine story so far, but the seed mobile suits. He did um, start a trend in some real cool mobile suits. I have to re reluctantly say that, you know, the, the Strike Freedom is, is a pretty well designed suit. Though there might be more seed destiny, but. It was a nice, nice riff on, on you know, the original style of Gundam, but they added some new original takes on it, and it came out nice. Do you have a favorite suit? Alright, we need three more units, and I think Heavy Arms can take care of all of that if we need it to. But for now, we're going to remove them move up our back line and try to capitalize on being able to, to move forward a little bit more. Uh, 3500. 80s. We're going to focus on that left top Leo that has significantly undamaged We're going to try to weaken him. Freedom Gum. Ah, oh, that's a good choice. Oh, yeah. I forgot I've got medicine to take. Well, I'll have to take a break at some point to do that, but maybe I'll just do that between playing this and jumping into Arc and Horror later. I respect the Freedom Gundam. Um, it's not garish. It's it's for a seed suit. It's pretty pretty tame. It's pretty elegant. And I'm almost tempted to say simplistic, but it's not really simplistic. 
It's got style. Alright, now we can start to take out these guys here. Let's get an explosion on this. Chance steps. We're gonna move them on up. And we're gonna. We're gonna maximize our chance to hit over damage here. We'll do a 79 with the beam rifle, so this guy only needs 100, 200 damage. Separating seed from seed destiny, so sometimes I don't properly recall which one, you know, how far how far seed goes and where destiny starts. It's all one giant blob to me. Oh, I didn't realize I they don't have to take their turn immediately, they can take their second chance later on. But we definitely hit the um event conditions, secret conditions here. We just need to get one more unit within this turn. And that is looking guaranteed. So heavy arms will get three units to kill. It'll be this Leo. Probably this Leo. And I'll damage this damage this Tragos with the Phoenix Zero. And make my way up there. Maybe finish him off if I can. Please, heavy arms. Hundred percent chance there with just about everything, so no concerns there. And we'll minimize our energy usage. I like the revision Dom Trooper from C. Uh. It's, it's much the same as the original, but the slight changes I think make it look pretty awesome. I know it's not as accurate, but it's it's close. We got a historic moment because we hit the threshold for the secret conditions. Everything's ready. We can go at any time, sir. And the commander? Transmission said he made it out safely. 
Colonel Zex, I'll be taking a Leo, too. Otto, please don't make this any harder for me. But, sir... Protecting the Honkmobile. That is the mission I've decided to undertake. I'm sorry. I'm gonna need you to join me. Yes, sir. Is... Is that from Oz? Let's go, then. So I guess we've pulled out or lured out the, uh, the Hogmobile here, and if we didn't meet those conditions, it would have just ended the map sooner or something? They would have gotten away? I'm not sure. I haven't played this map before, but that seems to be pretty likely. Too many. Or not. <laughs> Sue? This is wrong. Yeah, anyway, you can see this game had some um, translation quirks. Uh, Quattro here. Given the name uh, Quattro Roberto Winner when it was previously translated as uh, Roberta Winner. Just some inconsistencies. Not a big deal. It's wrong. We shouldn't be fighting. Not you and I. <laughs> I won't say it again. Get out of your suit. base now. <laughs> I think for me, part of the issue, going back to talking about Seed, part of the issue was that the animation was different. Um, it was definitely stylized in a way that I wasn't sure I liked when I originally saw it, but now I can kind of respect that they did it however they chose to, and it's, it's what it is. And it is a product of its time. It's not bad. It's just different from what I'm used what I was used to. Captain Noin, we've got Colonel Zex on the line. Colonel Zex, put him through. Yes, ma'am. At last. It's been a while, Colonel Zex. <laughs> You've hardly changed, Noin. I've heard you've been hard at work. We've heard tales of the lightning count all the way here in Victoria. I do hate when rumors precede me. Enemies paint targets on you and allies start to expect things. Rumors are wonderful things. Have you heard any about me? Only that you're turning out a fine crop of zero-g pilots, crafting the perfect combatants. But I have to ask no one. You've always hated war. Why expend all of this effort? Why don't you even remember that about me? Well, I'm rather fond of space. And those zero-G mobile suits. The Tauruses, we believe that we were already being targeted. I've heard they don't show up on radar. We've got more troops on the lookout. Fresh from training, but they'll do. Fantastic, though you always were. I do appreciate the compliment, Colonel Zex. No need for titles, no one. Mind you, Becoming too attached will just make leaving harder. Thank you for your concern, but I'll have you know I don't train soldiers to die. Recklessness never makes for good strategy. War can never compare to the value of life. Having seen soldiers die on my watch, I have to say I disagree, Noen. Putting your life on the line only ends in mistakes. Soldiers cornered, dying, I pity them. You've made your point, Noen. We can discuss it next time. We've got some rare cargo here. I was hoping you might be able to take us on. Understood, sir. Well then, I'm counting on you. Zex. One year and 22 days.
What? What happened? The base got bombed. An enemy attack. A direct hit on the trainee barracks. What? Search and destroy. Destroy them all. They should be right at our doorstep. Enemy unit spotted. I think it's a Gundam. Whoop. They're after the Tauruses. Dispatch all personnel. Leos, cover the area. I'll lead the mobile suits myself. Are you a fan of uh, any other Gundams, uh, Jama Mecha Jamaica? Come on and show yourself, Gundam. Thought you'd fight dirty, eh? Why hit the mobile suits when you can take the pilots? And you call yourself a man? Feels like I've heard that before. A soldier? He's just a boy. How could one boy do all that? One kid on a suicide mission. It can't be a day over 14. A woman. No wonder you're weak. That's enough out of you. All units, we've only got one enemy. Focus all your fire on him. Follow me. Unknown. Uh, in stages where your own forces can be sorted, fulfilling the secret conditions triggers the secret unit's appearance. Powerful enemy units make the battle difficult, but rewards player the rewards players for character abilities, which can be used to train characters. Aim to uncover these secrets. Oh, we have multiple maps? I've not seen this before because I started in Mountain Blood Orphans. LT and RT to struggle maps as you play. Oh, cool. Excuse me, I don't think I've seen this in... Sorry. Perps. I don't think I've seen this in any other SRPG. I, we literally have two completely separate maps that we're playing on that are not connected in any way, shape, or form. So, let's focus on this map first, since it has fewer units, with only the Shenlong Gundam here. And we're just gonna make him trash everybody as much as we can. Bastet says hi. She appreciates everybody here. She's very shy, so she won't say hello. So because uh, the Shenlong Gundam here is a guest unit as well, if we use him to defeat enough of these enemies, we will gain him as a uh, suit as well. But we have to defeat enough enemies, and it looks like just one did not do much for that far. And not quite enough to get a second critical hit, which means his turns are going to come to an end. I'd have been hoping to be able to get all three of them positioned down here in the beginning. Right off the bat, but uh, no such luck. So, back to the other map. Where... Uh, it's just heavy arms. Nope, we got Sandrock now, too. And a couple of his allies. Alright. Well, I believe what I want to do is... 100% on everything. We have plenty of energy, so let's take out the Leo down here. And then we'll take up the... Or try to take up the progress right above us. Just north of us. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, we murdered him. Yeah, that bar increases ever so slightly, and that's because these are actually good units, uh, and under the impression that weaker units, weaker suits, generic suits, fill up much faster. Alright, let's... Yeah, let's hatch open. Hatch full open mode. Give them everything we got. It's the coolest way to make use of the heavy arms. Sandrock and the two Maganax. Bandai sells a gun plus set of 30 of these Maganax for recreating the, uh, the Maganac group. Maganac Corp, sorry. Corp. It only costs about $600, but I think it's cool to do that. Uh, we got a Heat Tomahawk and a Beam Rifle 71 on that. Uh, and if we move closer, we got a 78% chance, chance to hit with the Heat Tomahawk, so we're going to go for Heat Tomahawk. To make sure we get as much of that damage in as possible. And I lied. We're gonna go and we're gonna move here. And get this central guy. guys take like they just took about a third so more than a third of his health in one hit they are not particularly durable and we'll also keep tomahawk you we just saw that so i'm going to skip through it uh we see that the Ares dodged it and i took some damage in return which is unfortunate Sandrock is pretty good as a melee unit. That Cross Crusher seems... Cross... Cross... Cross Crusher. Sounds pretty cool. Let's see that in action. I feel like I underestimate the sand rock and the amount of its coolness just because it's pretty monochrome except for the highlights of gold and green. And it doesn't quite stand out as much as it could. But let's be honest, it is pretty cool. And I had wished I had damaged him so that I could get the second kill this turn. I could do a raid link up. Uh, um, concentrate attacks on him. So I can get three attacks on one of these guys. And yeah, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Oh no, I. I Confirm just one lock. Oh, 
Okay, no, if I do two, it does 3,000 roughly to each one. I'm fine with that. Because I'm not going to be able to kill a second one this turn anyway, so if I weaken both of them, then we're, we're, we're setting ourselves up for a good turn next turn. Let's use the tools we have available to us. Hey! Vulcans! And it looks like they just strike back against the unit that initiated it, which in this case being the Sand Rock, which is fine. It's got a, a nice chunk of health there. That was worth it. Next turn, we should be able to get both of these guys. I'll send the Maganax down to serve in some fresh units. And we'll see how Shenmong Gundam all the units on the other stage. Um, basically, just a chance to hit. You're healthy, we're just gonna start countering with what we can. And I'm gonna start skipping some of these counterattacks. Animations. Uh, uh, checking the health on the Phoenix Gundam, it's still up there. So we're gonna counter. We can get a critical hit with the Mega Beam Cannon, which is a little bit energy heavy, but we're going to use it anyway. We actually get hit. We're still above half health, and we managed to even kill one of the Kragos. The heavy arms will just evade being out of range. I also wish I'd taken a second to check out what um, some of these keywords do, like uh, piercing, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, uh, kind of beam glaive. Oh, critical hit, we wanted that last turn. Let's get the Dragon Fang. Let's watch this one. I know the SD models are fairly simplistic, especially compared to full-size Gundams, or full-scale Gundams, rather. But the, the amount of effort and animation in some of these attacks is was pretty nice. Considering how many units are in this game. Oh, we've got a couple of uh, groups on each map here. We're going to start with the Shenlong Gundam. Beam Glaive U. And I think we can start to skip some of these animations. Yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad you agree with me because, uh, you know, I, I think it's easy to dismiss them as as, as cheap almost, but I, you know, I think they, they work. They're nice. They might be a little bit choppy, but this game is several years old at this point. Um, actually, I can start to heal you by moving you in here. So we're going to do that and keep you alive. It's a little bit expensive to replace Gundams. Uh, we'll kill you off. 
And I'm only skipping the animations because I'm sitting here and you guys are probably thinking, oh, we've seen this attack 12 times now. And let's let's start to move past the first stage. Alright, let's move up the back line again. Maybe get uh, Claire Heathrow's Tornado Gundam in. Who can? No. She's still out of commission here. 83%. I want to go for the guaranteed hits when they've got, or the likelier hits when they are at full health, since I don't have any one shots with a lot of these. Days, <laughs> Look, the, the, the Phoenix Zero One is a pretty sweet gun, or mobile suit rather. Coloration is very reminiscent of Banshee. Alright, so what I can do now is bring the heavy arms over here. We can go 4,000 attack on you. Get the 6200 we need. Bring the Get bar up a little bit and uh, move along. Four. And a little bit of luck. Get a third kill. Phoenix Zero here, we're going to start setting up next turn. 65 chance, 75 chance, 80% chance to hit this on the Ares up here. I don't think we've seen the Ares in combat, aside from the first little battle we had, so let's, let's check this one out. guys down here. You know, can't hit anybody. You're out of energy. Let's turn to the ship. Because you're in a raid group, so I can't match them with any other Gundams or units to, to replenish the energy. So we do need to be careful with the ship group here, especially. Alright, um... I think we just have Sandrock up here, the Maganax. first one and grab the second kill as well. Cross Crusher. Now these guys are so far out now that they're probably going to be useless for next turn, but at least they're taking care of this entire side of the map. 
and now Sandrock even has super high morale. We're gonna watch this one since it should be a critical hit. I don't know if that changes the animation at all. Look, look at that. That's pretty awesome. Sandrock is starting to grow on me more. I was never a huge fan of any of the base wing Gundams, but heavy arms, and especially Sandrock, I think they're up there. Death Scythe is, of course, cool, but maybe a little too on the edgy side for me. Supercharged. If morale rises above supercharge, attacks will always be super critical. It deals more damage than normal criticals, but morale will drop from being attacked. I think that's everybody. Nope. Oh, the, the ship here. I don't think the ship can hit anybody. Uh, Phoenix Gundam is healed and has some energy, so... Oh, he's already out. Everybody's already out. Alright, whatever. Yeah, you got enough health to counter. Um, 70% chance of a beam rifle. That was riskier than I thought it was because of the explosion attack. I can still do this. I can still fight. They get an alert when their health drops. I think they blow a third. And Sandrock will just attempt to evade. And it's successful. Uh, you really need to evade. And this is going to be an explosion. We might actually lose the Phoenix Zero here. Um, thanks to my... relative stupidity. I don't think the fence is going to cut it here. Uh, counter can't use any of its weapons. So let's evade and hope for the best. Coin toss. Hey! That turned out in our favor somehow. And once again, we're at a crossroads where we are likely to lose a Phoenix Zero. but also apparently not all that likely. I'll watch the Dragon Fang again. Oh, this is the one. This is one I'd want to watch anyway. A battle of egos. And her unit, her Ares, is specialized for her and has more health. More stats overall. But it's still not all that much damage. <laughs> Especially in comparison to what we can do. Yeah, we're just going to keep countering with this. For help. It's a little bit risky, but we're gonna go ahead and counter. He's running out of energy and won't be too useful soon for this map. Uh, again, I'm not certain where I want to put their stats. I need to figure that out on an individual basis. So we're gonna skip that and assign them later. We 
we've only got one more energy attack out of this, I'm going to use the Feather Funnel for the higher hit. Who doesn't like funnels, let's be honest. Ugh. Can't lose here. Don't lose. Raid units getting their energy back. A crucial, crucial aspect to running raid units. Tornado Gunman by Cleef. Fair Heathrow still out of the battle. You need to get the heck out of there. And actually, I'm not even going to kill you because Sandrock will do that. And actually, I'm not even going to move you first. I lied. Then we're gonna make sure to move you. Get you back in our ship. No, I don't want to attack them. Let's do this. Be right, let's go. Just to ensure ourselves, being ready to go. We'll have a Maganac take a significant amount of damage from that, but that's okay. Cross Crusher it to death. Do 9200 damage, no big deal. Let's see if we can take you out as well. Those super criticals are really helping out here. Hey, Sandra got the ability stock. Defeat an ability holder to gain a character ability. Reflexes level 1 added to the stock. So we can use that to give a character reflexes level 1 later. Alright, you need to move further then. Soldiers of the future. <laughs> Two abilities in one turn. Mechanic level two. Sandrock starting to really accumulate those, uh, the kick gauge there. You know what? We haven't seen the army knife ability of the heavy arms, so we're gonna watch that one. A very simple, close range weapon. And probably very insulting to get destroyed by. Again, Troa Burton versus Troa Barton. And uh, Phoenix Zero is risky to toss in there. finalize that. Uh, Sand Rock, I really want to get that last one there. There we go. Feather funnel for you up here. Right. 
thousand. No, heavy arms is super high. We'll take a little bit of rest and deal some damage over here. And I have lost myself to Phoenix Zero. This unit's lost because of me. I can't fight any longer. So we have just permanently lost our first unit. It is unfortunate. We will keep the pilot. Um, but that's going to set us back in terms of finances. Supercharging the heavy arms. Who we have left? Anybody? Shenlong? Yeah, Shenlong. So we'll move up here. Begin the way of you. And we'll beam Glaive no in, and let's go ahead and watch this one since she's a main character. Move. What's wrong with you, Ares? You, woman, do you hear me? Going easy on a child. I'd say that makes you a pretty poor soldier. I won't be killed by women or weaklings. Ugh. No. And Shetlong has acquired for us. Marksmanship level 2. And he's now super high, so hopefully we can finish off our friend over here. Yep, that's good enough. We have now supercharged all of our Gundam friends from Gundam. That should be it for our turn. Nope, two inactive units. Oh, the Maganax, I bet. Nope. They must be the ones in here. Yeah. Who have healed and have energy, so I'll just throw them out. You never know what'll pop up. I'm just gonna evade. Use Sand Rock to get the uh, get gauge increase as much as possible. Sandrock is my MVP in this, this stage, I gotta say. Heavy Arm is doing a lot of lifting early on, but the, the Sandrock is just crushing it. Oh, and that was apparently the last enemy in the stage. Noin, are you alright? Yeah. Banged up in body and mind, though. No, and I'm just glad you're alive. 
No worries about me getting promoted over you now, eh? Joke. I'm sure you're fine. Sex, let me fight alongside you. I need to stop being so naive. That Gundam really got one over on me. But next time, it's gonna be a different story. Sex, I'd be grateful to have you working with me. Sex, thank you. Oh, we got a little boat for our uh, giant ass Gundams. Hey, hey, come in, hero. Jeez. You see, we're making an effort here, right? I mean, come on. I told you I'd fix up your mobile suit and everything, and all you can say is no. No one touches my suit but me. End of story. How about this, smart guy? Where are you gonna get the parts? I don't care how good a tech you are. You can't fix Diddly if you don't have the parts. Got that? <laughs> Why well, have to save you of all people? Mr. Brash McSurley over here. This sucks. You want to be all doom and gloom? Why not just screw off and be a hermit somewhere? Hey. What? A little too late to ask me for help. Think you could shut up? Whatever, man. Sorry I even said anything. What? A mission. The enemy's on their way to the shipment of Gundanium. Roger that. Executing tomorrow morning. You know... Kinda hard pulling off a mission in a busted suit. Pretty much impossible, right? For you, maybe. Not for me. Alright, alright. My deepest apologies, sir. You screw up. You blow up. Missions you can't fail. Like two peas in a pod, you and I. Hero. Just come and kill me already, hero. Uh, and the stage is over. Stage cleared. And MVP ranking only occurs to the units we have in our possession. The guest units do not qualify. So Goat Logan comes in first with three kills, followed by uh Holy shit, it's Felix! Thank you for the raid, Felix. I hope everything is going well in Tactics Ogre. And uh Raiders, it's I'm happy to have you. I'll be winding up pretty soon here. Lance for you, baby. <laughs> Recital. Don. Thanks for dropping by everybody. I appreciate it. Oh boy, that is it. Uh, Cyprian, thank you very much for following. Plans, so you got a jet? Oh, no worries, Felix. You know, I, I always enjoy catching your streams whenever I can. And I'm excited for Tactics Ogre. Probably slightly less than you are, but I'm enjoying your playthrough of the Night of Lotus. You know, for everybody here who is not familiar, which is probably nobody, give a quick shout out to Felix. Uh, so yeah, we just wrapped up the first stage of uh, SD Gundam G Generation Cross Rays of the Gundam Wing story arc, which took approximately two hours. And this is an SRPG as well that I have not played much of previously. So we're acquiring some units for the first time, and apparently we're getting units from... Uh, Iron-Blooded Orphans with the Grace Space Type and uh, Pictions are from Seed or is it Double O? Uh, simply clear the stage of Distorty Raid Group to get this guy and I needed to yeah, cool. Couple base units a modification. I'm not quite sure what that does. But we can capture units, which means we can add them to our roster. Always a fun capability to have in SRPGs is adding units from the field straight into your party. 
go ahead and save up. Herb Recital, thank you very much for the follows. I always appreciate you guys. Um, and it's... All right, let's uh, duh, 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 form a team, group dispatch. Group dispatch is a section where we can kind of send off a... Uh, inactive teams. We have about four teams at a time. We can send three of them away to more or less idle and get experience, parts, money, all that sort of fun stuff. Organization should be where we can start to create those groups and develop units, create our own custom characters. You know, we can... Do, do a little bit of fun stuff here. Uh, name them, give them genders. Give them birthdays, which determines which skills they have. There's a fair few different avatars you can have as well. Um, again, based on the various series included in this game. For some reason, there's a fair amount of voices. And you can even give them theme music. But we're not going to do that right now because I don't have any inspiration. I am, however, interested in creating new units. You can kind of mix and match units from that you've already got. Like, if you for develop, there's, there's, there's a few different ways to gain units. One, you can capture them on the battlefield. They have to surrender, which means you've destroyed their commander first. Uh, two, you can straight up purchase them by developing them if you have their blueprints. And you can research them by combining two different Gundams that you have or two different mobile suits. But, unfortunately, I have no combinations because everything is a starting unit here. Uh, I lied. Uh, develop is entirely different. It's where you change one unit into another. They have to be of uh, certain levels, and they will go back to level one. But none of my units are cool enough to be able to do that at the moment since they are all low level. We can throw the Phoenix gun together with a helicopter. To create a tornado gun, which we already have. Zero. With the helicopter to create, again, a tornado, which we already have. And a Phoenix Zero One with the helicopter would get us also a tornado, which is very unexciting. Ugh. Uh, we can create warships, uh, like this that uh, deploy our units. They have a very high cost, and I cannot afford a single one at the moment. Subflight systems will give our units extra range. They're rather cheap. They don't fight on their own. They don't take up deployment slots initially. Um, but they essentially add a cost to each mobile suit you create. Anyway, this is where I can create some cool units. And some of the, you know, the, the free ones that we've got to be using the stream here a little bit outside of our range. For the most part, we could create a cool unit like the Gold Flame, Gold Frame Amaterasu, but I want to hold off from using the downloadable units because I know they're especially good. And if I do that, I will never get into using the Grunt units. Uh, the, the, the Grazi Space Type is usable on the ground, so but it's also got an A rating in space, which we may not have at the moment for many of our other units. So we're going to use the rule of cool to figure out what looks coolest here on up in this list. And I'm... Ooh, a Union Rail, though. Can be used everywhere except on the surface. And I can't see any stats on it other than... Um, its terrain capabilities and overall stats. Uh, 120 attack, 120 defense, 130 mobility. Significantly inferior to the Graze's stats Odin direct comparison, which makes sense since it is slightly cheaper. Um, but, um, we got some Leos we could make. Or a tier in space type. Uh, most of our battles will probably be ground battles to start out with. 
we can create a linear gun, which can only be used in space, unfortunately. I like the design of those. Zoot. Let's make some zoots. Basic mobile workers. Can't get much more basic than an HD mobile worker. How about a playthrough where you only use those? Linear gun tank, not a gun tank. Hey, Ted, how you doing? Gundam cool guys, indeed. I did tell you I was going to play Wildermyth, and I ultimately decided against it. Um, I will be playing it from all well, my lunch breaks, honestly, and I didn't want to uh, start it here and then, and then drop it off, unfortunately. This is the Landmaster from Star Fox? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. It looks very similar. It also looks very much like a tank, though not a gun tank. All right, um, let's make a zoot. Another one before that HD mobile worker. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But this can be brawl all over again, where we can give three units, you know, the, the ultimate to summon the, the Landmaster. Um, I'll make a zoot. I think that's pretty cool looking. Oh, it's got a tank mode, too? Yeah, let's make some of these. Oh, okay, here's how we see its uh, attacks. And it's got an ability to transform. Yeah, there's, there's transformable units. Um, Ted, do let me know when you're going to go live for Arkham. I will swap over to that, and at that point I will stop streaming myself since I do not have my setup for showing everybody's cameras, and that's... Uh, that's a little bit of a hassle. I had to figure out which card. Yeah, tennis. I was figuring out. Uh, I got to figure out where my cards are. I'm gonna add at. But let's make a zoot. It costs uh, about a fifth of what we got. Yeah, we now have a zoot. I can combine the Zoot with the Phoenix Zero One to also make a Tornado Gun. I'm pretty sure anything combines with most of those base units for Tornado Gun. Still adding cards, I'm out of cards. Head, I've got a, I've got a, a veritable um, plethora of cards. Uh, no, no, no. All right, let's produce a couple more. Uh, let's use, I also really like the Rialdo, and the Gray Space Type. If anybody's got any suggestions for, for what you want, I'm happy to, to accept those. If you want me to make a custom character review, happy to do that as well. I'm just kind of playing this by the seat of my pants, but I don't want to use, again, the, the DLC characters immediately, just because I know they are fairly strong. Build an amp. 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 But, uh, da, 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 da. Spearhead. Christian. Space type. What do, you, what do you do? A carbon net. That's a map attack. Weapon effect incapacitate. Enemy cannot operate or use commands if attack is critical. Not super useful early on, I don't think. Pretty cool, though. We got the Leo's Spinner Roadie. Just a rifle and a boost hammer. Solid choice, but linear rifle on a sonic blade. Oh, he's got shield defend. Further reduces received damage when defending and a refit. Shifting into another form? Interesting. Oh, okay, so it's a flight mode. Long range reconnaissance type. I like reconnaissance characters, sniper rifle. 
and reconnaissance. Accuracy plus 10% to ally units within three spaces. Nice. I'll throw one of these guys on the list. And that's all of my money. Was it smart to spend it on that? Probably not. The Union Rialdo combines with the Phoenix Gundam to create a Tornado Gundam. And he changes stats and probably attacks when... Yeah. 32 and 2600. And 3,300. So for now... I think what we want to do is refit it to launch in flight mode. And tank mode gives him a little more mobility as well. So let us four groups. Uh, you can have a maximum of four groups. A warship group uh, is a unit applied with a warship. They have special attacks with them. Uh, but, but, uh, they can return to ship to recover energy and life. Versus a raid group, which is only mobile suits. Uh, and they can do special attacks with their other raid group members within range. And they can recover a little bit of energy and health at the beginning of each turn if they are close to their raid group. So it's good to have a mix of both or something. I don't know. I'm just bullshitting here. But. We can swap in some of our new units. Figure out who we want to deploy in. The... We'll deploy the... Jin Long Rage type in the Warship group. And this has, let's see here, bum, 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 bum. mobility, it's got a little bit even amount of attack and defense. Energy is pretty low. It wants to stick close to others. That might actually be uh, a good reason to keep it in a uh, raid group instead. So we're going to swap that uh, with the gray space type. This is a mobile, very mobile suit with decently high attack. And it has nano limb and armor, which should reduce, yeah, reduces a significant amount of damage from beam weapons. I'll take that. That we'll see that in a lot of uh, Iron-Blooded Orphans unit, which is nice. So we're going to want a character with a lot of reaction. Ellis Claude's already deployed in the unit. Oh no, she's the one who lost her, so we'll give her, we'll give her the, the, the Jin Long Range type. And our second unit here. Sorry about that. out there. We'll give somebody with... I'm not sure what some of these stats do either. There's a lot of them. I know Command, Auxiliary Communications, Navigation, Maintenance, Charisma. Those are all used for warship abilities. Oop, one second, I have a phone call.
sorry about that. My girlfriend's out on a girl's night out and was just looking for some uh, directions. And apparently we'll be home soon. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't know what I want out of you. Maybe ranged? Who's not deployed in the group? A 38. We got someone with 140 range, 170 Ernst Jaeger. Billy Blaze, 142. Nellie Olson with 180. Ooh, she's a top candidate. Or Eterna Frail, 200. And that's gonna clear out that stat, so let's go ahead and throw everything in on that. We can't actually use these other four. I'm not sure what I can do to unlock these, but... Or I thought we couldn't use them for some reason. Maybe I'm wrong. Linear rifle and a Sonic Blade. We're gonna be using the linear rifle as much as we can. Uh, we want to give this a defensive unit here. Defensive pilot, rather. So we're looking for something higher than 150, 65 with Billy Blaze. 75 with Elfried Schultz. Oh, Kachua Reese at 230 sounds good. That'll be the final unit for tonight. This is very much a ranged unit, so... Yeah, let's just give it. Let's just stack it with ranged attacks. I think our second candidate was Nelly Olson. Yeah, 180. That sounds right. And there is our raid group number two. deployed everything but the combat helicopter I don't I don't know why I'd want to deploy the hel combat helicopter other than the fact that it's just a unit that's available to us it does not have good stats it basically dies in one hit if we're unlucky almost definitely two from pretty much anything but sure why not Let's give it to somebody with high reaction. Oh yeah, there's just a character named Blood. Just Blood. I guess he's super edgy or something. Reaction 85. 170, Rachel Ransom. 180, Florence. Lawrence wins. Congratulations, you now have your combat helicopter license. Let's make sure to save, because this game does have a tendency to crash. Uh, it seems like the developers weren't 100% sure what they were doing when they created this game, because... It tends to pop up with a lot of errors, though it is fun. Quests. These are your achievements, more or less. Uh, quests are available in a variety of places. Complete them to unlock units, characters, and modifications. 
Some of them are unknown to us on which stage they are on. Yeah, so basically some of these are like, oh, you, you, you max out your guest characters stats or get gauge and then you get them. Operation Daybreak. Defeat Noventa with the Beam Saber. They can get a little specific. Yeah. Anyway, those are basically just in-game achievements that actually have rewards. And this is where having many groups is useful. We can send them out to get money experience, but during that time we can't actually use them uh, in-game. This is real-time, so this would be five hours, you know, this top um, group dispatch would send them out for five hours in real-time. And I mean, the game doesn't need to be on for that long. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick a couple here to send out for some basic rewards. Again, we can see down at the bottom, it's going to give us some experience and money. Cap being money. Everybody will level up a little bit. Some of these will give parts. Uh, potentially Gundam. So the rewards are Gundam's parts. I think that's capital and experience at the end there. I'm not sure. Um, oh, no, we can only... Uh, never mind. Talking to myself, I've got my tongue all wrapped up. I'm probably not going to play... So here's the thing. I will probably play this again between now and the next time I stream it. But what I'll be doing is going back to older stages and trying to max out get gauges to get some of the unit guest units. Hey, Teldros, thanks for dropping by. Uh, I'm very excited for our uh, session that's coming in a few minutes. As you know, I'm a big fan of uh, Arkham Horror. So, let's throw you guys out on... Yeah, this can get Gundam parts, experience, a little bit of money. This can basically get a little bit of everything. And they have recommended comps, reflexes, and resupplyability. I don't think I have any of those. Operation achievement rate's 100%. That just means I guess we'll get 100% on it. I don't really remember. Dildros, thank you very much for following. I see Twitch's or Stream Elements has given everything one of those cute little Halloween hats. And defend the neutral zone. Uh, 96%. I want to see if I can get something that's actually going to hit 100%. Yeah. So I can do that one. The request for joint military would be 100%. Tank type unit. Or Operation Daybreak. No. Uh... I'll do the base subversion. All right. And I think that's going to be about it for me today. And it has been fun. Again, I am trying to stream a little bit more as my workload of actual work becomes bearable and I think I should have some more opportunity for that coming up uh, I've taken some days off coming up as well over the next couple months that I have absolutely no use for and therefore we're probably just used to stream during the daytime and I'll be doing a variety of games I'm doing this for now because I want to play an SRPG and I'm kind of in a Gundam mood lately so it, it all works out I know Felix, who rated us earlier, is doing some Tactics Ogre right now and is intending to do the remake when that comes out. I would also like to do the same, but I don't think I will be doing it immediately. 
Uh, I'll be back Sunday, probably with more of this. Again, I'll be playing in, probably in the interim, just doing some busy work. But actually, coming up next, we have some Arkham Horror with uh, Ted the Summoner and Teldros, who are here with us. And if Ted goes live, then I'll be uh, raiding him, but I'm guessing he hasn't. So oh, we're going to have to wait on that. Oh, no, he is live. Great, perfect. So we're going to go actually raid him because I'm going to go pop in on his stream and I do not have the setup to stream it. So thank you all for coming by. If you are interested in board games or card games or anything eldritch, check out uh, Ted the Summoner. He also plays Gundam Evolution with me. He plays a lot of Hunt. He's currently playing Spider-Man, just finished Ghost Runner. And he is a very good friend of mine, so we will go drop in on him. Thank you all for coming tonight. I appreciate the follows. I appreciate uh, any comments you have during the stream. So, once again, have a good night. I hope to see you sometime soon. Bye-bye.